Manitou Springs is uh, generally considered to be uh, sort of a tourist trap without the trap part. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... without the trap part. It's uh, a really nice place to go if you're a tourist. So it is interesting, I mean, these gentlemen, again, not here for the, uh, for the burn, but uh, they look like they're dressed to protest. Oh yeah, <laughs> we'll protest anything, they don't care. outside Colorado Springs and Soda Springs Park here is uh, right in the middle of the tourist zone it's where uh, she's scheduled her burn all right so I'm standing here in Manitou Springs with uh, who am I standing here with Hank Custer okay Mr. Custer a uh, question for you hey hey gentlemen hey, can you do me a favor a little bit quieter so I can hear him okay thanks yeah uh, question for you I, I uh, I'm here to uh, videotape this uh, lady who's gonna burn a Confederate flag here in Colorado and uh, I, I, I came up to you and your friends, and I asked you if you were you're here if you were here for that event, you know, maybe to oppose it. But you said you, you guys hadn't heard about it, but hearing about it made you really angry. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, uh, I mean, there was a lot of blood spilled over not just that flag, but the American flag and the flag from the South, you know, and uh, a lot of a lot of our ancestors. You know, I grew up in Oklahoma. And uh, there was brothers fighting brothers in that war. I mean, how how could you could you imagine coming up on your brother and he points a rifle and you gotta shoot him first? It happens. That's pretty. Yeah, and it happens. Yeah. And uh, I mean, and we don't even have any. I mean, we couldn't even try to put those boots on. You know what I mean, because them some big boots to fill. So uh, what, what make, I mean, uh, you know, it's her property. She owns that flag. She bought it, I assume. Uh, isn't it her right to burn it in public? No, it, it ain't. Because that's disrespecting a, a whole a whole heritage of people. It doesn't disrespect a basic human right. It's not, and it's not a racist flag. Mm -hmm. It's not a race thing. I, I have black friends in Oklahoma that drive jacked up Chevy pickups and they got rebel flags in the back window and an iron cross gas pedal. I mean, you know, it's they own it, it I guess. It's about where they at they hey they, they dominate it. They earned it too. You know what I mean? They earned the right to, black people earned the right to fly the rebel flag just just the same way. Black people from Georgia, they'll fly that flag. Well, what if I mean uh, use the same argument that you're making to try and stop you from burning a communist flag or a, or a Nazi flag or a? I'm not going to burn. I'm not going to do that. I don't have no inner. Somebody else had had a belief at one time, or might still have a belief in that flag, and that's their that's that's their right. And it's not. I, I don't. If they're not bothering me, then I don't. I shouldn't. Why? What reason do I have to disrespect that person's beliefs or or what they want to? what they want to do now when you're burning that flag you're disrespecting somebody's you know I mean that's a whole state all right mr. Custer I appreciate your time yes sir yeah. and I, oh and you had one other thing you wanted to add yes sir freedom ain't free I was running off into the field saw them boys coming back from Iraq missing arms and legs remember when you think you got it bad you ain't, you ain't seen nothing could be sitting in a, a vet hospital with a double amputee and three three kids and a wife. So 
Y'all tip y'all's hat to them boys when you see them. All right, thanks, Hank. Yep, happy day. Keene, New Hampshire, the capital of libertarian civil disobedience. The folks over at freekeen.com believe this is the place you should be. If you believe in peaceful non-cooperation, freekeen.com invites you to the beautiful hills of western New Hampshire and invites you to join their peaceful evolution. Freaking.com